it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning, it's 8 o'clock, I'm at the shop, I gotta do a bunch of computer work. I came in early to get the editing done for these vlogs that we're dropping to keep you guys up on what's going on in bike week. Today is the day like when people normally start kind of rolling in heavy for bike week, like Wednesday, Thursday. It already started yesterday though, yesterday was super slammed here at the shop. We got a crazy amount of people from all kinds of crazy states from all over the country coming in here and other countries. It is already popping. It's going to be gnarly. The car is still not done yet. I honestly don't think there's a chance in hell that shit's going to be ready for the event this weekend. It's just, it's so, it's so much work, man. Cars suck so bad. Literally, like this wiring harness, just to plug one plug in is about six hours worth of work. And then to plug the next plug in is about another six hours worth of work. And then to just run the wiring harness and getting rid of the old wiring harness. It's We've got 20 hours in this harness setup so far. And we're probably, I'd confidently say, realistically halfway done. And still haven't fired it, haven't put a tune. Like, Still have all that to go. Still have to put the intake manifold on, but we can't find one of the vacuum lines that goes to the intake manifold that controls like the shit in the car. It's just a forking nightmare honestly i hate working on cars i really don't want to do this shit again after this project but i really want to drive this car really should have left the car goddamn alone but is what it is you know when you just get into a project you just get things moving we were on the news yesterday that airs today at 1 30 that should be pretty sick uh and then the event is in like three days. We're pretty much ready to go, which is unreal. Except for the car, which the car don't make it, the car don't make it, is what it is. But we're almost never just ready to go for an event on time like this. Everything else, the bikes are all ready. The bikes are prepped, ready to go. We got to give them a couple of them a bath. But other than that, we're pretty dialed. I got shit that I got to do tomorrow, and then tomorrow the boys from Thrash and Supply are supposed to be coming into town, and we're going to get together with them and go rip up the streets a little bit, do a little ride and have a little fun. Should be a good time. <laughs> to Tras Performance. It is Wednesday morning? Wednesday morning, yes sir. Wednesday morning. Day three into bike week. Well, uh, we're headed to Tras to go pick up the race bike. It just got dyno tuned. Had her kind of down tuned. Calm it down. Make it a little more streetable. Gonna pick that up. I'm gonna ride it back with no license plate or any of that kind of good shit and uh, hopefully make her back to the shop and then we're gonna get back to work on the Corvette until people start rolling in and then we might just end up riding some motorcycles. And for the bike i'm gonna get suited up i'm gonna ride this thing back i'm gonna take you guys for a little ride along i haven't rode this bike in probably a year and a half i'm a little intimidated to be honest made 138 horsepower and 145 foot pounds down tuned on pump gas i'm happy with that that seems like a much more rideable range than it was before should be a good time i'm just letting it warm up right now she is a beast she needs to be nice and toasty Battery was a little low, it was a little bit of a bitch to start. Once it gets warmed up, we'll hit the street. Well, here we go. Mid controls are gnarly. Yeah, that's a powerful motorcycle. <laughs> Oh, this thing's gonna be nuts. I put these bars 
kind of made it a little more like a supermoto. somewhere and see what she feels like. Damn Arizona don't have any. Holy shit! Got a fucking fruit cycle riding around me. Look at this fucking guy. Somebody hit you, dipshit. Goddamn fast. I'm only like maybe 4,500 RPMs, and it's just I can't keep the tire on the ground. It takes off, dude. Yeah, I'm just blop blop short shifting it. The tire just comes off the ground every time. It, it just, looks fucking nasty. I feel dude. so tucked on this thing too. It looks so sick. It fucking rips. It is a monster. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm riding a big block Chevy. <laughs> I haven't even like hit full throttle or opened it up in any way because the littlest bit that I do I feel like I'm it's a lot to hold on to. It's, it's a lot. I'm gonna come around this turn though and I'm gonna give her a little I'm gonna give her the beans. I'm gonna put my visor down and get down to business.
to gas it in a second. Just hitting the throttle in second gear, this fucking thing does a wheelie. That was at like 50 miles an hour. God damn, this thing is fucking ridiculous. Man, we're gonna hit the turn up by Buddy Stubbs real quick. That's the nastiest bike I've ever ridden. Yeah, same. Like by far the fastest and most aggressive bike I've ever ridden. I've rode turbo bikes, I've rode them all. Like this thing is stupid. I think like, it's because it's so light, just the way it's set up. The shift from first to second, it just what like comes right up, dude, and just wants to go. Yeah. Like it doesn't want to come back, it wants to go forward. But yeah. Like it, the front tire is off the ground though. Yeah. Like the whole time you're getting on it, the front tire is just like floating off the ground like yeah, that. Yeah, it's fucking crazy, dude. This thing's aggressive kind of scary yeah it's a little terrifying yeah my my heart was pounding the whole time it kind of had me scared a little bit she is nasty i don't know how sean rode this thing dude balls of steel yeah dude i hit the, i went up to hit the turns up the, going up the hill to buddy stubbs at probably 110 plus i would say well over 100 miles an hour. i was flying like flying flying and it's just rock solid, man. When you're in a turn, it is rock solid. Oh yeah, this thing's crazy. Yep, she bad. Let's go put it on a lift. I'm gonna put a different lever on it. First to be here, you know? <laughs> What's up? Man, we got stunt riding royalty in the house. What are you royalty. guys doing over here? 
Royalty. Now I'm, I'm doing some repairs on my bucket. You know, you got this guy. I found I found him at Home Depot, so he's getting bucket out. list. Yeah, day labor. Day labor. Yeah, day labor. Trying to get that green card into there. there yeah. I bought you a burrito. I bought you a burrito. You changed my lifters. Amen. Man, I think I could use a burrito right now. Me too. Yeah, yeah. What's <laughs> going on? Why are you here? Uh, we're just coming down to do the stump competition. Kind of nervous. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be good. You'd be I'm good. I'm gonna try and get them though. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna try and try and get get the W. I'm try and bring home the W. Hell yeah! That's that's what we're looking for. Yeah. There you go. Big win. Big showstopper. Jason Poland stunts. If you don't know who that is, you've been sleeping under a if fucking rock. If you don't rock. know, if you don't know, now you know. That's right. <laughs> now you know. You know. Yeah, daddy. And man, check out this throttle up here. Ah, oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, you know, adjusting push rods. Because even the oldest and wisest of all conditioned stunt riders still show up unprepared. <laughs> I didn't show up unprepared. I'm I'm gonna back myself here. You know, Ryan is a really, really, really nice guy, and I had a I got I picked up a guy from Home Depot who said he knew how to work on motorcycles. My lifters had been making noise. You could zoom in on his face. <laughs> yeah. You can tell he's foreign. <laughs> so we so we we went over it a couple times. I'm I'm coming off a 17 hour drive. I haven't had breakfast yet. I haven't brushed my teeth in four days. You fucking went for breakfast. And, uh, what was that? This morning. I just picked you up at home Depot this afternoon. Quiet down while I'm on, while I'm interviewing, buddy. You know. I'll send you. <laughs> I'll bring you back to I home Depot. 29 hour drive. I'm wine with your little 17. What you get? <laughs> what you get for fucking 12 dollars an hour these know, days? Right? Huh? You're a little fair skin for Home Depot, aren't you? Well, they got, actually got me back from the back of the unemployment line. I was the last guy in the line. Okay, okay. He'd been standing there for a long time. He <laughs> shaded. <laughs> Lost his tan. Uh, so we're going to do this and hope for the best and then head to the lot and go ride. And everybody's in town. It's going to be a gnarly one. And we'll film it. So stay posted. And remember, for every $5 you spend on cruiseoriginals.com, you can win a Harley-Davidson Dyna. Oh, hey, hi. How you doing? Long time no see. It's Trick Bike Trent. We're at the lot. Yeah. I'm excited to ride with Poland, dude. I've never ridden with him. You finally get a ramp? I bought one, yeah. Oh, borrow that. Yeah. I I've finally never, bought I've a good one. Jason either. I've known Jason for 15 years. I've never rode with him. I've never ridden with him. I'm excited to yeah. Poland's on his way. Everybody's here. Jackson's here. Dennis is here. Stretch is here. Joey Calderon even popped out. Uh, Jeff Brett is on his way. Poland, Angie Rocks. It's gonna be a really fucking stacked lot day. Yeah. It's fucking awesome. And it's 80 fucking degrees right now. Well, let's go warm up a bit, eh?
sticky as fuck, isn't it? Clean, it's cool, like a triple cool. seven. Yeah. Gnarly. Swing it a bit. You set it down, I'm gonna come in drifting behind you. the hand drag back down there? Sure did. This lot's wild. Good one. My fucking hand is killing me right now. Get bumped. These dudes on these little bikes, I ain't fucking with them. Dude, I hate them. They keep getting in the way. They're always in the way every yeah. fucking day, all the time. I hate them. Look at that black and green uh, rocket. 
He's the worst. Yeah, he's the worst. Every time I come here, I literally get mad. And I'm about to like, I'm gonna fuck him up one day. Do it, please. I hate the motherfucker. The motherfucker is in the way all the fucking every time. time. He's worse on his grub. I'm glad he ain't got that thing out. Dude, I almost kill that guy almost every time I'm here or he takes me out. No, not a fucking bit. Hate riding with him. back there and just get a face full of it. <laughs> <laughs> Pump is gnarly.
I just had a really gnarly one. I didn't have a camera on. I went back for a hand drag, it went bad. I went to grab the bars, I missed. Jammed this fucker down, got my hand caught in it. Clutched in in a wheelie. Then slammed myself to the ground with the bars turned. No hands, bars flailing everywhere and rode it out somehow. It was fucking terrifying. I feel like I broke my shin on my air filter cover. Woo! trying any hand drags for a while. That scared the shit out of me, to be honest. I didn't like it.
little scared. I got the fear! <laughs> Fucking that, that got me a little scared. drop back for it, I'm fucking up panicking right now. I gotta get over it. Try and roll your wrist and elbow up a little bit. Uh, drop in? Yeah. Or down, rather. You like, you like this. Yeah, I'm not stretch, stretching out. Yeah. It, it's easier when you're stretched.
way better. Yeah, I let myself lay out. I mean, like when I lay down on that, that one that went bad, that's when it went bad. Yeah, but watch how much. Oh yeah, it's right. It's easy. Yeah. It's not then, even. Then you're just reaching down, you know. Yeah, it's not even deep. Yeah. I'm a little wore out, but I'm doing pretty good. Woo! All right, I got some hand drags back. I said, uh, get over the fear. The fear gets a hold of you sometimes. In every aspect of life, and what it does, you just gotta face that shit. It's fucking hard though. I'm definitely scared of getting hurt, I ain't gonna lie.
Then I turned it into a buck after I came down real hard. Yeah. I went up the handlebars, it goes like this, and it rides real bucked. Fit something. Are you doing eating cheese snacks or what? Chicken wings. Chicken wings. I'm he's so thinking, hungry. He's thinking about coming out here. What? He's thinking about coming out here. Dude, come out. Come ride. He says, Woo. should I? Yes. Of course. There's like 10 grand up for grabs. 10 grand prize we have grabs. Come out, win that damn foot up. myself <laughs> still a little freaked out about it not even gonna lie but having the best time myself earlier today out here and I'm still freaked out.
tell it. shoe's gone, the sole just came off my shoe. One day, one fucking lot session, pair of, whole pair of shoes today. Pretty fuck. My shoe gone! It's a lot. 